What's up guys, uh, DDoS here again. Um, today we're going to be showing off my uh, command blocks, I guess, that I use um, in my brand spank world. Um, so right now, I'm in adventure mode, but if I try to switch to survival mode, it will always switch me to adventure mode. So, okay. See, it, it updated it to adventure mode. What that does, which I don't know if they changed it in like the new update to PS4, talking about Bedrock, um, I can't break this glass, and I can't break this snow, or this concrete. And that, it's all because of adventure mode. Um, I didn't think it used to do that before, but I'm making... Um, but anyway, I'm making a skyblock world, and this is a skyblock world. Every time somebody leaves their island, they'll be spawned on... Well, when they leave their island, they'll be spawned inside of a chamber where, like, that's how they get to their island, because there's going to be, like, a hall of islands. They have to unlock their door, and then they'll go down the hall, spawn... They'll uh, go down a pressure plate, and it'll spawn them on this block. What this block does, there's a command block under there, and uh, I tried to not have a command block showing, but for some reason, it just wouldn't work. So, I just got a white pressure plate and tried to hide it the best. Honestly, it's really not noticeable. There's a lot of different thing worlds you can make. But anyway, let's step on this. So when I step on this, three things are going to happen. This bucket's just going to disappear. And it's a bucket of milk. It's to get rid of potion effects. It's going to totally disappear. And I'm going to get two potion effects. It is gone. It's not in my inventory. Um, and that's to prevent people from just using a milk bucket to grief and PvP in your spawn. So let's go ahead and switch to creative. And I will show y'all. Why? Look at that. <laughs> I still have the potion effect. Uh, let's get rid of that real fast. There we go. And we'll just throw this stuff back up in here. And there are... These are all my command blocks that I have right here. This one, um, this one right here, switches my game mode every time I go to survival to adventure and the radius of 200 blocks. Now, this world that we're playing in, I switched, I'm playing on PS4, I switched to Editions, and made a super flat world, bedrock only, loaded in, pressed pause, quit the world, went, and transferred it, like, uh, brought it into, like, the bedrock edition, and didn't touch a single other thing. The only commands I put in was to delete the ground. I deleted all of the bedrock. Uh, when you do that, for some reason, only like one map of Bedrock loads in, so it's really easy to uh, delete. I don't know if this world's infinite, but I'm just telling you how I made this world. I don't know if it's affecting the adventure mode. Oh, I am in creative. <laughs> but, um, this block here changes your game mode from survival to adventure mode. On their islands, I want them to be able to build and break stuff, of course, you know. So, I needed a way to make it to where only in this area they couldn't break stuff. And for some reason, I can't break stuff. And it's because of adventure mode. That's what this command block does. Um, slash game mode A at players is um, just anybody in this radius is going to be in adventure mode. With a... R is radius, equals 200 is how many blocks that you want, so if your uh, spawn isn't that big, it, you, yours can be a lot less. Um, now, my, my thing is, I'm going to have a command block that switches your game mode to survival at your own, at, like when you're at your island, so that... Like, there's no other way for them to really switch back to, into survival unless you do it with another command block. There are there are ways on YouTube where you can automatically make it to where 
if they're like not in this radius, then um, like it'll automatically switch them to survival. Um, I only found one video that really showed me how to do that correctly, but it was like six years old and I didn't know if it was even still good. Like I, I didn't know, so I, I didn't try it yet. But this is what I'm using right now and it's working so far. So that switches your game mode from survival to adventure mode. This one takes the bucket away so that I can't negate the potion effects and PvP and spawn. Um, because I want people to be able to farm cows and do all that kind of stuff, but I'm just going to have to warn them that if they try to bring their buckets that they get off their islands into spawn, they're going to get deleted. So if anybody's bucket ever does get deleted, I'm going to build a command block that actually gives you an empty bucket. Uh, now, if they lost their water in that bucket, uh, it's not my fault. I'm just going to have to spawn it in form and uh, let them try again. That's what that command does, so let's build up. This one gives you mining fatigue. Now, since I'm already in adventure mode and can't mine, some people think this is a waste of time. Um, I kind of just, it's like a, a second thing to fall back on, I guess. Um, if anybody ever gets into your spawn and somehow doesn't turn from survival into an adventure mode, they shouldn't be able to break any of your blocks because they've got mining fatigue for a crazy amount of time. That's like, you're not going to sit there and wait it out. You, you won't even be on that long, you know what I mean? Um, 255 true, I believe that just takes away like the potion effect, like the bubbles. Uh, I, some guy said that on um, YouTube. The radius again is 200. Uh, but nine in, like it's six nines it gives you it for like the pretty much almost like the max amount of time that you can have a potion effect I think but that's giving them min mining fatigue let's pull it up one more time and this is giving everyone weakness my radius for my spawn is 200 you can change that number uh, to match your spawn I just I just again put it on that so that Nobody in my shop can actually break anything either, or inside of the hall of islands, I don't know. But this is for weakness, and that is how I'm protecting my spawn. Um, I mixed like three YouTube videos together. Got some false information from one dude, went to another guy and was like, oh, that's how that works, and I ended up with this, and it is working so far. So, that's a good thing, I guess. Uh, I don't know how long it's already been, but we're going to go ahead and jump in to the actual shop. The shop in my server. I know there's a lot of people trying to create servers out there, but I, f I figured out... We're Actually, we're going to go and make a scoreboard real fast. We're going to go look at these first. Okay, so... This is the first thing you need to do. Slash scoreboard, space objectives, space adds. Uh, Sky Shard is the name of my currency. That is customizable to you. You can put anything you want. Now, the fir in the where, it, where it's lowercase, you need to lowercase yours too. I did this wrong the first time and couldn't understand why my thing wasn't working. So make sure your first one's lowercase, then put your dummy, then put the name again but capitalized because two of these commands I, they like interact all three of these do so now back out of this one the second thing you want to do oh you want to put a uh, redstone block there and break it that's what I did and it, it didn't do anything the first one I did I don't believe did anything the second one it does do, do, blah, 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 do something behind the scenes this one slash scoreboard objectives this set display sidebar sky shard it capitalizes your first letter don't capitalize it um just put it as a lowercase i messed up on this one too it, like my my whole scoreboard thing was messed up uh just keep it lowercase um whatever you want to name yours you can put money gold whatever fingers i don't care maybe your currency's fingers who, who knows 
But uh, you want to do this one second, place a block and break it. That I believe the second one adds your actual, like where it says Sky Shard. That's my currency. It's just, you know, different. I don't know. Now this one. I have mine on repeat. This one is slash scoreboard players add at all Sky Shard Zero. What this does is makes everybody that joins your world automatically get a currency of zero. If I was to change that number, since it's on repeat, like the zero number, if I was to change it to like one, people would just start generating money. That would actually be really cool if we were playing some kind of like, I don't know, thing where time made you money, but we're not. So, because you could delay it in ticks and stuff, but besides that, slash scoreboard players add at all Sky Shard Zero. The two people that joined the game, I didn't even want them to join, but they did, and I didn't have to, I didn't have to come over here and place a red, like, oh, after you place that, place a red, actually, I think, since it's on repeat and everything, it shouldn't do it. What happened with that one was it was like this, and I placed a red uh, stone block, and broke it, and it gave me myself, and then Sky Shard, and it was just, everything was good. I read the comments on the video that actually showed me the scoreboard players and all that kind of stuff, and a smart guy was like, well, why don't you just put it on repeat? And it makes sense. So, I mean, you don't want to come over here, if you're playing your own server, you don't want to come over here and have to, every time someone joins, hit this and have them come back in. Okay, now these, if you ever need to set somebody's thing back to zero, like their um, score, say they find a exploit in your currency, like your store, you can fix your exploit and set their thing back to zero and maybe even reward them, who knows, but um, this will set somebody's back down to zero. Uh, this one will give me money to test out my selling, which I haven't set up my selling yet. Um, I'll probably do a separate video, don't know yet, but um, I have a hundred currency. This is just like the last one, but it's me. So let's say maybe maybe I had them maybe I had everybody team up and kill the wither. I could change this to all and give well if I press this again, this button, it doesn't go up. So there there is a way to just add everybody's money, but um I might do that in a separate video too. But you could definitely just give somebody some starter money if they're your friend by doing something like this. Okay. So, that's giving and taking money, pretty much. Those two back there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fix this right here. So if I give myself... I, I figured out how to sell stuff in stacks. Um, a lot of comments on other videos where was a lot of people asking how the heck do you sell stuff in stacks. One guy had the answer, and it was absolutely horrible. The answer was horrible. By the way, I'm still in radius of my thing, so I switched to adventure mode. Still can't break anything. I'm holding the button. Nothing. And this is concrete. Um, but now, if I was to come over here, and I'm gonna press square. I'm going to drop 32 into the void. I learned how to, I figured out how to sell stuff in stacks. Uh, what you do, this, this is going to give me 64, it's actually going to go over 64, but um, it's going to be 64 and 32, which is 96. Each one is for $1, so I press this, it sold 21 of them, 21 more, 21 more, 21 more, and 21 more, 96. That was selling um, stacks without having... The guy's solution in the comments of the video was to put 64 command blocks in a row, each one scanning for, like, one block. However he said it, it would be, like, removed one at a time, and then finally it would activate that last command block and give you the actual money. 
No one has time to do that for... Look at all these blocks. <laughs> I, no, that's not happening. Okay, so what I did was... Mix two peop two totally different people's YouTube videos together, pretty much. So this one here, slash clear um, at player, which is going to be the closest player to uh, the command log. So if you're selling stuff, try to make sure you're kind of alone and just you know, you do you. Slash clear at player stripped oak log. That's the block that I'm selling for this. Uh, zero space one because you're selling one block at a time now the reason it went to 21 we could change the repeat back to impulse but um, we would have to sell one block at a time and that's fine if you want to do if you want to do one block is like five gold or five money it's whatever but you can actually do that more um, because this one sells for two okay so the one that sells for one strip of log it's taking one log at a time and it's giving the player you slash scoreboard players slash scoreboard players add at player which is closest player sky shard one lowercase sky shard not capital that's that that's why it, th this command is um, interacting with your scoreboard it's adding money because you're selling the blocks and that's how it is working that's how I'm selling the sex and it's on repeat and it's selling 21 at a time so if I went I'm in creative I'm gonna grab let's just go down to Asatia excuse me I burped sorry Asatia is gonna be my most expensive wood because every block in Minecraft isn't in the game, and that's the only block that you have to buy, like, you can buy leaves for. I can't actually make it to where you can buy saplings, but we're gonna, um, here, let's get an even, let's get an even, uh, 100 right there. That was two different ones working, this one sells for three, and now we're gonna sell an Asatia for five. And now if I had a stack of Asatia, I could go in here, um, get a stack, just to show y'all. And when I went to a jungle, it's not going to give me anything. I went to dark oak, not going to give me anything. You have to be right here. And that's giving me, this, this is the most expensive wood in my, in my server. Boom, gave me a good amount of money. Gave me 330 to be exact, because we had 100 from other stuff. Now here I want to uh, I want to um, I want to sell uh, mossy oak stairs because people are going to have to get cobblestone, smelt it down into stone brick, uh, farm moss, craft it into stone. So we're going to sell this for six. This is going to be for six shards. One one block, one stair is going to sell for six. So we come into here. What I usually do, actually, is press the chat button, go ahead and go slash give, and anything that you can slash give is what you can sell and buy, because if you can't slash give it or slash, um, if you can't slash give, you can't slash clear, I, like, that's how I understand it. So we're going to do this, and we're going to put mossy. underscore no capitals stone underscore no capitals uh, brick you, you can see it in the left there all your things are going to pop up in your left and then you're going to all over case stairs no underscore you press R2 and now what that's going to do is give you this and I, if I press that, nothing's going to happen uh, because we haven't put the command in yet. So we go here. Now I'm going to go ahead and change this to repeat. Now we go slash clear. And slash clear is a, a command that takes stuff. 
out of your inventory. So slash clear at player, which is at the closest player, and we're going to do mossy stone brick stairs. Since we typed it in before and gave it to ourselves, it'll pop up in this screen in our PS menu, and you just click it, and it went ahead and gave you a space, and now you need to do zero, one, since it's going to be taking one at a time. So we're done. We back out, and we press this. We change this to chain, uh, conditional, and always active. And this one is going to be our scoreboard one. So we're going to do slash scoreboard players add at player sky shard or the name of your currency like well not or it needs to be the name of your currency make sure it's lowercase and since we're gonna it's, this is gonna be six per block since it's kind of out of the way to make no one's gonna want to build these stairs but you're building them for money so that you're gonna be able to buy other things so we're done we back out and now we fly down here we need to make sure everything works so we have one mossy stone brick because we spawned it in and nothing happened what oh this is why I didn't put a space in between my zero and one uh, in the first command block so let's press it and it takes our block and gives us six so we can try that again and it works it gave us 12 and we can just keep going here let's go ahead and one two yep. it's because I pressed it too fast but one gives us six alright so now if we were to go and actually get a bunch of mossy stone brick a 64 stack we would start making all the money all, all the monies and it sells 21 at a time so that's how we make it and then we just patch up the hole and boom you have a selling station now I haven't made any buy stations yet but uh, I need to now what was I gonna show you all oh okay let's let's do this work okay the reason you want this to be a zero one is because you can't actually sell you can sell a whole stack in one go okay if you change the second number to 64 but now let me show you why it's a horrible idea stripped oak log it's gonna take one of our stacks but we only have one stack and one piece of wood it's gonna take the stack oh it took them all it took them all wow okay let's do this um, it's because I have it on repeat but um, that's the reason it took them all so if I had 21 stacks it'd take 21 stacks and it would only give me my one currency it'd give me one per stack of 21 but what I'm trying to show you is that let's throw one on the ground look I, this is a stack of 63 and I type in 64 it's gonna take it and give me my own currency and I can also sell one one block and get your currency so that's why this right here you cannot sell uh, 64 stacks so let's make sure this works after I mess with it okay let me just make sure again I'm fairly new to command blocks but I'm doing really good <laughs> but uh, so that is why you cannot sell stacks of 64 everybody's like oh yeah I, I made a way to stack 64 stacks and sell them I followed the tutorial that the guy had I typed everything incorrectly I went over it like three times I was like heck yeah I sold a stack of 64 I was like dude this is crazy this is awesome then I pulled out one block and pressed the button and was disappointed but this is the way it needs to be so you have one stripped oak wood you press the button you get one I was gonna make it to where if you have a stack you get fifty dollars but fifty dollars is gonna be a lot of money but since I can't do that 
money is going to be more, I guess, valuable now. Like, now, if I get $10, I can probably buy... No. <laughs> Not $10, but... Now money's going to have to be... Like, things aren't going to be super cheap, but they're not going to be super expensive. You know what I mean? Now, it, the thing is, once you get a Satia in my game, you're going to be making a lot of money really fast. Because once you plant once you plant so many trees, you're just going to be sitting here going from $6 to over 100 look at 200 That was one stack and a little of another. And you're going to start flying up in money. So you might think, this kind of sucks. But three stacks of satia, I have nine hundred and sixty-six dollars. Um, I know a lot of people. Like one of the one of my friends on PSN is building a server, and he is using command blocks. He didn't even help me at all. I was trying to get him to help me today, but he wasn't on. But uh, that's a little trippy, right here. But um, I had to figure all this out on my own. And this is what I ended up with. You can sell stacks, and it all works. I have to add the sign. But that's what I have been up to. So once this is done, uh, I will be happy for you all to join. Uh, just subscribe and leave a like. And thank you for watching. And I hope you make your own server as good as you possibly can with my money system. Just price the stuff to where it's not super expensive. You get cobblestone, it's an early game thing. It's one shard. You can smelt it down using wood. It's two shards. You smelt it down twice. Three. You start farming. Um, you actually get some iron. I need to make a thing where I sell iron to the people. You. Four shards. Just simple. You just gotta think reasonable. You don't want. You don't want somebody to. Be able to farm a carrot and get a thousand dollars every single time. You know what I mean? But your prices are your prices. Uh, you could easily make it to where you have so much. Like, you, your your prices are outrageous. Like, you sell something and you, you sell a stack of cobblestone and each one sells for 10 each and that's $640. I mean, it's, it's uh, just that simple. Um, but leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I hope this helped y'all because I went through about six or seven YouTube videos all from different people and just patched together all the things that worked like this this was two different videos combined and the actual um, shops themselves were probably they, they were two videos combined um, the other three were was me trying to actually just figure out how to do stuff with command blocks but thanks for watching guys um, I guess I'll see you all in the next one and I'll probably be posting videos on this so if you want to see me play this uh, subscribe. <laughs> Alright, I'll see y'all.